This is the laser sheet generator. And how it works, it's two lasers rotate very fast around this axis of rotation. And by spinning very fast, they create a cylindrical light sheet that moves upward like this. The way that they spin is that they're attached to this wooden plank right here that's attached to a brushless motor that rotates. And to create different types of laser sheets, I've attached the lasers to servo motors, which are right here and right here. And the servos adjust the laser position with respect, the laser angle with respect to the axis of rotation. Uh, so that's like this right here. The control signals for the servos and the lasers come, are uh, attached to these cables here and run up through a slip ring. Now, when I started this project, I didn't know how to handle spinning electronics. I knew it had to be possible. And one way is to just attach a power supply to the, the actual spinning device. And I have links to projects that do that in the Instructable. Or you can use this thing called a slip ring. Um, so as you're, you're seeing here, this thing is rotating. The wires aren't getting tangled up. And that's accomplished by the slip ring. I also have some videos that explain how a slip ring works in the, uh, in the Instructable. Uh, and uh, the cables from the slip ring run down to an Arduino that's in a box underneath. I'm going to show what's inside the box uh, in, in a few, few moments. And the, on the outside of the laser sheet device are these ultrasonic sensors. And their, uh, their purpose is to enable people to interact with the, the laser sheet generator. So these devices send out ultrasonic waves and they detect them. So if a hand gets in the way, uh, it's able to pick up the reflected ultrasonic waves and determine the distance someone's hand is from the sensor. And using that information, you can do lots of different things uh, in the device. You can change the angle of the servos, you can change the blinking rate of the lasers, and you can also produce a MIDI signal, which will make the, make the device play sound. Uh, so that's an overview of the top. Now I'm going to show you what's uh, inside the box. This is the inside of the box that houses all the electronics for the laser sheet generator. Right here is what's controlling everything. It's an Arduino Mega. And the pins to the right are for the echo and trigger pins of the ultrasonic sensors. They're run up here through a sh the sheet of plywood. Um, and the cables come up through here to the ultrasonic sensors. Uh, right in there is the, the brushless motor and that's spinning the, the lasers around. Okay, back inside the box, also connected to the Arduino are the control pins for uh, the, the laser and the servo, as well as the MIDI output, and that's where the sound is coming from in the device. There's also an analog input from a trim pot that's used to control the speed of the brushless motor. In the back of the box is the power supply, 12 volts, that's used to power the electric speed con uh, controller, which is right here, and the brushless motor. And those cables are also run up through this hole in the, in the sheet of plywood. Also connected to the power supply are two buck converters. Uh, this one right here steps down to 9 volts. That's used to power the Arduino Mega. And over here is, is the other buck converter, and that's used to step down to 5 volts. That powers the lasers, the servos, and the ultrasonic sensors. It's also connected to the trim pot and the, uh, the, MIDI, uh, the MIDI plug, MIDI jack. Uh, you can also see right in there are a few transistors that are used for electric switches uh, and the, the lasers are connected to those. So that's how I'm able to uh, flash the lasers with control signals from the Arduino Mega. And finally the front panel of the laser sheet generator. To the left is a USB jack which connects to the Arduino. That's how programs are uploaded onto the device. A power switch and a place to plug in an AC power cable. Uh, the trim pot, 
uh, knob, which is right here. This adjusts the speed of the brushless motor. And to the far right is a MIDI jack. So a MIDI cable is connected into there and is run to a MIDI playing device. And that's how the, the uh, laser sheet generator plays music. And that's it. That's an overview of how the laser sheet generator works and some videos of it in action. For a full description of how the device works and some schematics, check out the Instructable. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching.